There are few things more enjoyable in a work of fiction than a good mystery. And while reading or watching these stories in novels, TV shows or movies is a lot of fun, video games let you go one step further and take part in the investigation yourself. And the following games are some of the best examples of virtual sleuthing on PC. Blade Runner This cult adventure game perfectly captures the mood of Ridley Scott's influential sci-fi film. Classic crime novels and film noir inspired the movie, so it's a natural fit for a detective game. Playing as rookie Blade Runner Ray McCoy, you're asked to hunt down a group of rogue replicants. The story mirrors the film a little too closely at times, but McCoy is more of a detective than Deckard ever was. Famously, Deckard fishing a snake scale out of a bathtub in the movie was added later, because he didn't do much detecting in the story. But the game makes up for it with a huge number of clues, some of which are incredibly well hidden, to find and piece together. Much of the game is spent scouring the rain-soaked, atmospheric streets of a futuristic Los Angeles for clues, which echoes the slow-burning pace of the movie. There's even a randomised element. When you start a new game, you never know which of the characters might secretly be a replicant, including McCoy himself. Paradise Killer this is a detective game where you're free to investigate on your own terms. A mass killing has been committed and the culprit is in custody, but did he really do it? On the surface it appears so, but any good detective knows you have to look deeper. Set on a large and deeply weird island, you explore at your own pace and pick up clues in any order, and you can take the case to trial whenever you feel ready. As you investigate, you'll learn about the strange mythology of this so-called paradise, meet the eccentric oddballs who live there, and get tangled up in the conspiracy. But here's the kicker. When you take the case to court and pin the crime on a person or persons, you won't know if you are right or not. The judge might not accept your theory, but if they do, someone's gonna get executed and there's every chance they could be an innocent victim of your bad detective work. So, no pressure then. L.A. Noir. Inspired by pulp detective novels, this lavish crime thriller is a slow, methodical game of clue hunting and suspect interrogation, set in a stunningly authentic and well-researched recreation of 1940s Los Angeles. You play as Cole Phelps, a World War II veteran turned detective who finds himself rising rapidly in the ranks of the LAPD, from beat cop to homicide dick. Ellie Noir's face tech is still impressive and its characters are brought to life by a cast of genuinely great TV actors, some of whom you'll recognise from Mad Men. Those realistic faces aren't just for show though. When you're interrogating someone, their facial expressions and nervous tics can tell you if they're giving you the straight dope or the yank in your chain. The city isn't a Grand Theft Auto style playground, but an elaborate film set for a variety of cases from brutal serial murders to stolen cars and arson. It's more linear than it first appears, but the rich atmosphere and intriguing cases make up for it. Her Story What's interesting about her story is that everyone's version of the story will be different. You take a non-linear path through it by searching a fragmented archive of video clips, and it becomes clearer with each one you uncover. Her story is set entirely on the desktop of an old PC and you sort through this labyrinth of video by searching for keywords. The first one the game suggests you try is murder, which brings up a handful of clips that set the plot in motion but there's no prescribed path through the narrative. The way the story is told will be different for everyone who plays it, depending on which keywords are chosen. You might find a clip in your first minute that I didn't see until my last hour. This unique freeform structure and the understated and believable police interview clips make for a bold narrative experiment. 
and constructing this dense, twisty story in your head as you play makes you feel like you're doing real detective work. Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments Ukrainian studio Frogwares has been making Sherlock Holmes games for years, but it really struck gold with this one. What makes it special is that you really have to be a detective to solve its cases, which include the detective fiction classic The Murder in a Locked Room. Clues you gather from the remarkably detailed and atmospheric crime scenes can be pieced together in Holmes' mind, and the conclusions you draw aren't always correct. You might think you've pinned the crime on the right guy, but you could be wrong and you can choose to see if you were right or not, or just live with your decision. This is a classy and understated game evoking classic British TV detective dramas. The voice acting is a little iffy in places, but these rough edges add to its charm. There's the odd badly designed puzzle, but you can skip most of them if you'd rather just focus on solving the crime. Return of the Oberdin. The crew of the Oberdin, a creaky old trading ship, has mysteriously disappeared, and it's your job to discover their grisly fate. You're an insurance investigator, but not the boring kind. Using a magical watch, you can revisit the exact moment of a person's death and walk around inside it like some kind of crime traveller. And through these vignettes, you piece together their name, how they died, and who, or what, was responsible. This is an immensely satisfying detective game because it trusts you to solve each mystery yourself with almost no hand-holding. You have to pay close attention to each death scene, and it can be something as simple as one crewmate calling another's name that gives you your eureka moment. When you sniff out some important clue, a sailor's accent or a tattoo on their arm, you really do feel like a genius detective, at least until you get stuck again five minutes later. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. In this remastered trilogy of weird, funny visual novels, you play as a hotshot attorney called Phoenix Wright. But don't worry, you get to do plenty of detecting. Phoenix is very hands-on when it comes to his work, and you'll spend a lot of time outside the courtroom snooping around crime scenes for clues and interrogating people to construct a case. Once you've pieced everything together, taking your evidence into court and hammering the suspect with your new collection of cold, hard facts and butting heads with rival prosecutors is a real thrill. But don't let the colourful art fool you. These court cases are intense and you have to think logically to poke holes in whoever you're cross-examining's testimony. There are three games here and they're all pretty long, so it's a bit of a time investment. But it's all worth it for the moment when you corner your suspect and nail them with a piece of irrefutable evidence. The Flower Collectors Inspired by Hitchcock's voyeuristic Rear Window, this neo-noir adventure game takes place entirely in an apartment block overlooking a plaza in 1970s Spain. You play as an ex-cop in a wheelchair who witnesses a murder and takes it upon himself, with a little help from an unlikely ally, to crack the case. It's very simple and light on interaction. This is the least hands-on of all the detective games in this video, involving very little in the way of deduction. But the story and voice acting are fantastic, it's incredibly atmospheric, and it's still a satisfying, twist-filled mystery to solve. It forces you to get to know the plaza, the people who live there, and their routines to help you sniff out who murdered this guy, and why. The changing political landscape of Barcelona in the 70s also gives the story a unique edge teaching you a little something about history as you play. 
Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium is a detective RPG of improbable depth that is part Planescape Torment, part Police Procedural. Your fatally hungover detective peels himself off the carpet, naked except for a pair of soiled underpants, and begins the laborious process of piecing his broken mind together and solving a grisome killing. The beauty of Disco Elysium, aside from its gorgeous art, superb writing and inky black sense of humour, is sculpting the main character into any kind of detective you like. Through conversations you control every facet of your character. You're given a variety of ways to respond to people and this dictates your personality, how the population reacts to you, and the outcomes of quests. All the defining traits of the best fictional cops are in there, but importantly, the worst are too. So if you want to have the superhuman insight of Sherlock, but also be a self-destructive mess like Jimmy McNulty from The Wire, Disco Elysium has you covered. Hypnospace Outlaw You've been hired as an enforcer, an internet detective tasked with hunting down illegal content on the garish GeoCities inspired Hypnospace. This wildly colourful, surreal, simulated 90s internet, inspired by the golden age of the web, is hiding all kinds of illegal content. Pirated music, copyright infringement, harassment and malicious software and you really have to work to find the offending material. Infiltrating hacker collectives, locating hidden pages, cracking passwords, and using search engine kung fu to pry into the darkest corners of the web. It's established early on that Hypnospace has a dark side, that you're a willing cog in some terrible machine. When you're bringing the copyright hammer down on kids' drawings because they feature a character owned by a large corporation, it's a real a we the baddies moment. Morality aside, Hypnospace Outlaw is a supremely clever and rewarding detective game that is happy to sit back and let you do your own legwork. Like 